Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing with our Thrawn's Revenge 3.3 preview playthrough as the New Republic. In the last episode, we sacrificed South Fork, which I'm going to rebuild now over at Mon Cal, in a successful attempt to destroy the Sovereign, which had been slowly building in the core. And that's why I'd left the core unattended, because I was hoping we'd get to fight the Eclipse. Uh, I'll accept the Sovereign as a substitute. So that's good enough for me. If we don't get to fight the Eclipse, I'll still be happy for it. I can happily kill uh, kill Palpatino. I'm Nilspar, and I'm the Viceroy of the Duskin League. It's time for us to achieve our destiny and wipe the filth from the galaxy. Your pathetic race shall die beginning today. Their lives depend on their being useful to us. The Avitha are not civilized, Commander. We're edgy. It would be a mistake to deal with us as though we are. Alright, that's the Empire's problem, as far as I'm concerned, for the moment, until I make it my problem. But we will we'll want a Hyper and Ion Cannon there. And... Oh, I, do want, I did want to take that opportunity to do that. We voted for Borsk, right? Yeah. So Navic, if we're gonna use Navic's bonuses right now, we we gotta do it right now. I think we're I think we're okay. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. Where's that Viscount at? It should be floating in somewhere. That should be it. I think you're the Viscount. There it is. Who's replacing Akbar? We'll probably have to do a pull for that as well. Because Akbar will get uh, a little kicked out with Mr. Borsk in charge. Imagine how the how the Avita must have felt when the Vaughn got introduced. Like it was supposed to be our thing, and now we're not even the edgiest boys in the galaxy. I think we'll get to build one more round of structures before Navik's gone. Construction complete. Mm, maybe. Yes, I think. I think we're good. Construction complete. It'd be nice to have that. Beginning construction. Constructing. Construction complete. May as well build you up. Construction Moving complete. Construction. Okay. Borsk has approached. Beginning I clicked that at like just the right time too. So, Akbar's gone. Who do we want? We can have Willem Burke. We can have Adder Talon. We can have Ragab. We can have Nance. Or we could technically have Dorat. We're not going to do Dorat, though. So, let's see. That's Burke, Talon, Ragab, Nance. I'm going to put that up on Twitch. New poll. Admiral question mark? Burke. Alan. Bob. Fonts. And we're going to run that for, I think, three minutes. Use your ill-gotten points, witchers. And I'm sure all the people watching on YouTube are right now thinking, damn, I wish I could have been there live on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern to vote in this poll for the next New Republic Admiral. That's an option that you could have. Option that you could have. If you are sure. All right, Biss. We have a new Chief of State, we have a new Super Star Destroyer ourselves. 
How is it looking right now as it loads? Talon is actually winning. I didn't think Talon would win. Oh, never mind. No one's winning. Now, okay, this is... I think the the rigging of channel points is coming in. And Burke, by being lowest at the start, is just being given a sympathy vote. Choose your reinforcements. All right. We have not the trap you're looking for. Changing heading. All right. And Grey Ghost. I think this is the first time we've used the new Viscount model in a playthrough. Ready for the kill. It's not like super new. Endurance class at your disposal, sir. Newer. You have need on my skills. Yes, Commander. I I I just leave if I were you guys. Awaiting orders. Walk weapons and fire. We are fully operational. I already have endurance on station. That might even be like two years old. I don't know how long it's been since the last New Republic playthrough. But with like, what, 10 playable factions between both mods and the playthroughs running like an average of four months? Is it 10? Yeah, it's 8 in Drawn Revenge right now and do in Fall of the Republic, and it'll be three in Revan's Revenge. I'm waiting. We are fully operational. We're drawing their fire. Choose your position wisely. Even if we tell the Viscount to target the Valadusia, the Viscount has enough of a distributed firing arc that it'll probably still cause some damage to everyone else. It's just such a chunky one. Down to you. Like, imagine being such a Chad ship that you almost win the Yuzon Vong War for the entire galaxy without even being finished. Alright, Ragab has won 149 votes, with 39% of the vote. Definitely nothing suspicious about those numbers. Definitely not channel points that have skewed it. Black Wolf contributed 5450 channel points. I don't know which one Black Wolf's uh, back. It sounds like from the dam that Black Wolf is going for second place to Wilhelm Burke. Do you think of putting the Eclipse 2 in game? Not really. We don't really think there's necessarily anywhere useful that we could put it. Like, could it just be tacked on somewhere? It's like, oh, look, it's Dark Empire Part 2. There's, It's hard to spray space out more for ships like that. Black Wolf did support Burke. Well, I'm sure Ragab won't be purging his political enemies. So it'll be okay. Still a lot coming in from the shipyard. What is it you want? I think if we Oh, the, the shields are almost down on you. Then we can get Grant to shoot him. And Great Ghost and hit that attack. only you had power to shields, then you'd have nothing to ever worry about. Now, if this were a bigger fleet, the Viscount would probably be in trouble. This was only 100 pop cap plus the, the garrison, so if it was 100 pop, or 300 pop cap plus the garrisons, plus the station, what is currently only, uh, most of it being down, or most of the shields being down, would definitely be all of the shields being down. I think the Vindicator here is 
dying from some pass through damage. Body blocking. Awaiting orders. Gregos, you can move in a little bit more. Grant, you can stop there. With all the, like, with the new year system in place, there are some characters for the, uh, for, like, the command staff and everything that would have been harder to place earlier that we can, like, in earlier versions that we can start putting in now, even if we're not quite at the actual use on Vong War content. Because if we can have Nek Buatu coming in at, like, 32, maybe why, I think? Makes sense. Because he was in Dark Nest. He was pretty fresh there. I don't think he'd be old enough to be earlier than that. Dark Nest was 35, but he'd been in the military for a while, but at least a little while. I think we're going to start losing some, some hard points on both of these guys. Another ISD coming through? It is. Uh, okay. Try... Where's Chani? I thought, well, she's an interesting one because, like, I think she's relatively not old, but I don't think she's, like, that much younger than, like, Blue Khan and Leia. Or Luke and Leia are fairly old. A fair chunk older than because she got she got Galactic Voyager after Akbar did she have home one no I don't think it was home one I'm pretty sure she ended up with one of Akbar's ships it's been so long since I've read a lot of the books in that era At your disposal, sir. Fire at will. Grant has taken some heat for sure. But that just means we get uh, a new... Another new commander. I've been thinking about retiring him, so... Because he's been probably our most used hero. I mean, other than Luke and Kyle. That's more a function of us not having too much else in the ground unit category so far. I think it's Galactic Voyager. Other one. The other MC-90 that Akbar had. Like, I'm not saying I'm trying to get Grant killed here, but I'm not trying that much not to get him killed. <laughs> I want to give the wrong idea. Uh, this is going to bother me now. What was Neothal's research? Other than, like, the, the other later one she had. There was one she shared with me. I know that. I know that to be true. Unless I'm thinking of someone else. I don't think I'm thinking of someone else. I don't know. Grant, do you know? Or are you just going to Whatever. He doesn't. Probably he This was a lot more damaging of a battle than it could have been, really. So, uh, are we gonna lose anything? Is that hyper velocity gunshot going for the Viscount or is it going for going for the Viscount? How much of the Killix roster is done? Nothing. Inertial is done like a couple rough models for some space stuff for them, just testing out 
a mix of like materials and under styles for it. They're gonna have probably a ground unit and two base units done for point three. All the factions will end up with something. It was Galactic Voyager. Thank you, Black Wolf. That was gonna drive me. But, like every faction except for the Yuzon Vong should have something in point three. All of the announced ones. Because they need to fill their planets. So we'll probably have uh, one of the Nest or Shard ships, plus some Dart ships, and then at least one of their actual bug types for the for the ground. Like, the Killix are going to be an entirely infantry faction on the ground, which will be interesting. Bicycle's asking, in Revenge Vent, will the Mandos be a big thing? Yes, they will be the Sith, the Republic, and the Mandalorians. Will all three of them will be playable in the first place? And it's a very high chance that the first playthrough I do might even be as the Mandalorians. It'll be either the Republic or the Mandalorians, because the first Galactic Conquest I'm going to play in Revenge Revenge is going to be uh, Mandalorian Wars. Will the Killer Planets be locked at the start of the full galaxy map? They're available right away. They'll be available right away. There'll be a kind of pseudo-emergent faction event thing where they'll be there, not super active, and then if uh, there'll be there'll be something relating to them becoming more. I won't uh, overpromise on government mechanics that don't exist yet, but they have one relatively clear one, especially when the AI is playing as them. Like the Sea Ruby, the Yuzon Vong, the Killix, and the Avitha, even though they are going to be playable factions in their own right, they do make sense to also use as a kind of emergent faction situation, which will sometimes involve locking certain things. But it won't necessarily mean locking all of their planets all the time. Uh, we do, we do want to be able to keep that kind of faction around as a tool to help give more things to do as the game goes on. That there's still someone fresh to fight and a way to shake up the map, like the crisis events in games like Stellaris. But we'll be trying to balance that with the. With the ability to play as them uh, and have them be an active part of the galaxy. And everything. The we we also don't want it to be like a a linear thing all the time, where it's like this happens, then you know this is going to happen, then you know this is going to happen, and always from the same places. There's a, a little bit more variance planned for some of it than that. Endurance class at your disposal, sir. We are fully operational. All right, this has gone amiss. We don't have to worry about the chess. I don't think the random. There we go. Okay, that's a decent. Eh, is that a decent shot? Oh, the B wings just flew directly into the into the bridge. Just that Crusader. Yeah. Endurance on station. Walk weapons and fire. I think Grey Ghost can probably handle that Crusader. We've got enough uh, anti-fighter weapons, right? Got some lasers. Yeah, some medium lasers. I don't want to be rude, but can stop hypervelocity gunning my beautiful Viscount, which I'm gonna have to pay for. It Took. Oh yeah, that's definitely under 80%. Probably like 67%. Alright, I think we're going to save before moving on. 
Bugs Mando is asking, which faction do you have the most fun playing as? Uh, I don't know that I necessarily have a favorite in any of the mods. Like, Father Republic, I kind of go back and forth. I like the CIS more aesthetically, but... Usually, whichever one I'm playing at the time is just because that's the one I wanted to play at the time for the playthroughs, so that's usually a sign of what I'm liking most at the moment. And in Thrawn's Revenge, like, I do really like the Maldrude Apen playstyle of, like, smaller ships, and I like the Ariadu style a bit less, but sometimes I also like going for that. Um, Empire of the Hand's always fun. What about all of you? That's the comment question of the day. <laughs> favorite faction in each mod, including Revan's Revenge, which none of you really know anything about yet. So just make wild guesses and speculate. Alright, Ragab, you won. Researching. Grant, you are still alive. You're lucky for that. Uh, the two mini counts. Where did I just get Ragab? I should get Rigab over here. Researching. Constructing unit. Enlisting troops. AACs. I love AACs so much. Let's just fill the planet with AAC. Okay. Let's move out. Let's go. Moving. This doesn't really all need to be there. I'm going to do it this We're way. We're moving out. Research complete. Let's split it more or less directly in half. And then they, Grant and the Viscount, aren't going to be threatened by the Grand Space Cannon. Do we have an Ion Cannon here? We do. And that. We may as well move into Metalos as well. Since could use a boost in the main campaign, he usually gets bulldozed by the CSA and Maldred before I can fight him. So that is, that's less because he needs a boost and more because he's a hero in an SSD. And he's generally, like so much of his power, or so much of the faction's power is in the SSD, which is a ton of power, especially in the hands of a player. But... It's easier for the AI to whittle away at that, which is why all the SSD heroes, or one of the reasons why all the SSD heroes that factions get for free are typically being moved to upgrades now, rather than being a thing they start with. Because that allows us to distribute the power in other ways uh, and makes it a bit of a smoother start for everyone, where it's less just, you have this SSD, now go bulldoze stuff from the start. Like, an SSD isn't enough to win you the campaign. It's still just like 200 some odd pop cap worth of power, but it's easier to not lose that off the bat. If you're on Cruel, then it, it can just die. But So that should be less of a problem in, uh, in point three. We're still working on the specific implementation of some of those changes, but it's getting there. Uh, we know Palpatine's there. We have all that. What's here, though? Anything we need to worry about? That's one six. We'll probably kill a lot of that. Construction complete. On my way. A 
Okay, Vi Count's all back. Come and cast back. How much else is really out here? Heading out. Take a look at our Yavithan friend. Construction complete. A fine. Five ninety six. So it doesn't look like they've moved anywhere yet. Oh, they have a crater in here still. When you and your team are redesigning the UI, did you take in your webcam positioning as part of the redesign? Uh, no. Like, a lot of the the bottom bar stuff we kept in similar position. Just this area over here is kind of always a bit emptier. Because there's actually a thing which some of you may remember. Or you know it from the... Uh, from the ground battles where you can have the objective info here and we used to try to use that as a display for certain information but what we found is that it causes issues like it using this using the objective information on the galactic level will actually cause crashes a lot more but you can't safely use it for much which is very annoying We should have enough to invade this now. Yeah, I, I position my my webcam around the UI rather than so. Right away. I try not to make any decisions with the mod that are centered on channel stuff. Like I don't think that's particularly fair to the other devs if I were to do that. There are some things that I'll change myself in a campaign, like I obviously do the patron units or whatever, but. I wouldn't I wouldn't make design decisions for the mod based on Uh where do we go from there as well? Like killing the Greater Maldrid would be nice, but right now, like I don't want to move anything north until we've kind of secured the core. There's not really a reason to go beyond that. I think that great thing to do. I think. Yeah, we can attack you. On our way. And I'll just uh I'll put on as much pressure in this as I can. Let's see if we can clear out Metalos and Sauce Beacon. Inbound. Like, South is space only, so that's the easiest one. No hypervelocity gun to worry about, and then no ground battle afterward to worry about. Sien, Ave, Archangel, let's get Ragab in. On Mothma. That's my toe. I need to properly read that name. Mon Mothma loses to a penguin. Out of Rendell. I think that's an Andor spoiler, actually. Warrior gunship. Another Agave. Tempest. And more. And you know I think I do want more fighters, so. Oh, the sacred coordinate, sir. Boffins are Rose Best Friend, MCA Liberty, and Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death. You need your shields popped up, and I'm gonna send you after the Golden Two. Or Golden Three, rather, not Two. I think the MC90 as well, because the, the back and the ass frog. And I'll go for it. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, I thought the the Allegiance's help was the MC80 or was Tempest's help for a minute there. MC90 Star Cruiser reporting. I don't want to push into any of the planets that are directly bordering the Yavitha until I'm confident we've got everything else taken. I guess I don't need to be confident we've got everything else taken. I, I want to know that we've taken the other Imperial planets, so that there's nothing else that they can take from us. So it's it's, a, it's our last option is going for the Yavitha adjacent ones. But the year system stuff also does make it a bit er earlier for uh, How can we be of for the Avita to come out, I think, compared to where they pop up in 2.2 game, for example. Even if you started from the start, or started from Arrow 1. Because we started from Arrow 4, but that's still only five more years, so like 60 weeks? I can do math. I'm a smart man. All right. Thank you, Ragab, for your first win. You've commanded our fleets brilliantly, and your contributions will be remembered. Not that you're dying or anything. That kind of sounded like a little ominous. But it's still appreciated. Did I actually... did I build the sound yet? I don't remember seeing the build option on the bar this stream. I vaguely remember pressing the button. Oh, don't... Don't let the golem live. I had it today. Oh, I guess I haven't looked at any. Well, I shouldn't have complained. Now I have to go and kill the, the trade port. Bombers at the ready. Reporting in. Yes, sir. Attacking target. Roger that. Yes, Commander. MC 90 Star Cruiser reporting. Uh, transport dead. Holding fire for in a perfect world, we'd be able to just make the trade port not victory relevant, but still die after the planet switches sides rather than still being alive. Then you can't. I know people would probably want that where they'd still be there afterwards, but then when you build a new structure, like build your new level one station, it goes away anyways. There's no perfect way to do that. All right. I am going to save again. I 38. Yeah, for sure. So we should be able to hopefully take Saw speaking without a problem. So I might I might go for Biss first. Probably makes most sense to go for Biss first. Polnai is gonna be really difficult with a 560 stack of Yavithans. Enzoth is probably not gonna be that bad. Like it's only 300. Like once we have all the other planets in the area taken, we'll be able to do either of those. But it probably makes most sense to go for Enzoth first. It shouldn't be too long before we have the Avethans back in their their own proper faction slot as well, and they don't need to use the rampaging fleet stuff, they can just use their proper faction-iness. Uh, On my way. Um, uh, 
building under construction. Building under construction. Okay, he's there at 48k, but we don't have the pop cap. No, we do. Am I building him somewhere else? Oh, I don't have the ship crews, do I? Nope. We'll probably just save up for those. Is easier if we have two more of those. Alright. This will be a rough battle. Two cloning facilities, because there's the Dark Empire one and just a regular one. That makes it a little bit easier. Alright, let's uh... Start this a little bit cheesy with I do like this map. Because this is... Probably the hyper velocity gun, actually. We're gonna go over the river and through the woods. What are you? Are you the hypervelocity gun? Oh, that's the hypervelocity gun. Standing by. There's you need me. I'm going. Awaiting your signal. So they either try to go and challenge Luke. Ready to go. Or so Luke either gets everything he wants or they challenge him in the base. Gets uh bit more damaged. Or not. This is uh So a lot of the tank droids are there. That's not good. Never mind. They can they can keep that. What's the mission? On my way. This is actually not good for you. They won't see any. Yeah, run away. Our bombing run probably has to go on there. Roger that. Right well, at least this is... This way. It's better to fight six of the XR-85s over yeah, the same number of, like, turbo AT-ATs or something. The very rogue squadron battle, I think. A nice Dark Empire invasion of, uh, Dark Empire invasion with viewings against the tank droids. Oh, don't hunt. Some artillery. Luke. Oh, I can't get you to do that. Once Palpatine shows up, that's uh It's a bad sign for us. Okay, there's... 
get a V-Wing into, like, the capital or something? No, oh, that's an AA turret. That's too bad. Uh... Are you, are you stuck? No, you're fine. Lucas. If Luke can attack them, then... Okay, we may as well use that while we can. We're not going to get much farther. Especially if there might be the AA turrets killing us. We got exactly one bomb off. I need the vehicle repaired back. Well, let's try to go off of two artillery here on this. Come on, you little bastard. At least those are all relatively weak, but they might be able to send them back to more repairs. Oh shit. We can't let the... <laughs> Guess who is not immune to getting nuked from orbit? Yep, that's not sure. Should I have saved that for a building, maybe? I didn't. Nothing. I do kind of regret that those aren't all alive, though. Not really much I can choose for that. Those are both full. Okay, we gotta try to take advantage of our dropships for that. space or ground battles? I prefer space battles, I think most people do, but I do like ground battles. I think the changes we've made for them have been kind of pretty great. Well, so much for the artillery. the artillery. It's very sad. More RAFs. Let's get Kyle. I think what we're going to do is be sneaky. I don't know if the bombing run is going to make it through on this side. No. Moving out. 
your wish. Right away. We'll try to keep it in position for an extraction. But with all their units assaulting the landing zone, and now, you know what, you guys can come help. What are those? Nova Stormtrooper. Okay, so that's from the... I think that's from the capital. Kyle, you need to destroy the structure. I'll just look at it. I know you're a big architecture fan, but there you go, buddy. Luke, you don't need to do more than just look at it. So what do we got? That's the Galactic Empire capital. That's the local capital, Moff Palace. This one's yours, Luke. There they are. Poor guys. <laughs> they did their best. I appreciate the effort. And we'll get Palpatine's cloning facility. Moth Palace. I can't see. Oh, I guess I can't see its health because it's technically a hero. Okay. Getting the rest of their units is going to be a challenge. May involve some strategic bombardments and bombing runs. On the move. On the move. You need to all stay together. Ready to go. Moving out. Oh, come here. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Triton, for the gift sub. Appreciate it. Rescuing more people Order from the knowledge. from the Twitch ads. Where's the turbo ATAT? -AT? Oh shit! I did it again. No, it's coming from the other direction. Are we getting two of them? Now that is pretty epic. What do you need? No problem. Stormtrooper medic, got it. Two Jedi coming for a medic. That is not Moving legal. Right away. Now, they littered this whole place with Roger AA that. turrets. They did not want bombing runs to get to them. Army troopers. Uh, can we two destroy these? Is there gonna be a huge mass of other units waiting for us? Doesn't look like they're in too much danger on that. Go for the next one. If you're both doing it together, it's so much faster. Nope, nope. 
A, you need to run faster. At least they got a couple of those out. I need a little bit more time. It was the Firehawks, I think that was. What are you doing? Bombardments. No, Luke. Stop it. I'll be there. Luke. This is not what you want to do. They gotta change places, they gotta swap back and forth. Kill the dark stormtroopers. Okay. Kyle, can you kill that one? I think Kyle should be able to kill this one. Give Luke a chance to catch his breath. And now that one. Gonna work. Order acknowledged. Armed and ready. I think if we go around this way, there's fewer of the turrets. What do you need? Get more of the dark stormtroopers. So close. I don't know how much else they have. Okay, get out of there. I think they can take out these two. Rip. might have killed all or at least most of the right. XR85s. I don't want to split up Luke and Kyle too much. Because without both of them, either could die. May as well just bomb me. Did 
There's so many AA turrets, like, I don't know that any other place is gonna be bombable. Let them don't let them scare you. You're most of the population of this now. Don't be Empire War meleeed into not doing anything. Okay. These are just the militia. They're nothing special. You can count on me. What's up? Reporting. Yes, sir. Where do you need me? Any units around here? No. Yes. Kyle, the down move. there. Your Look, I'm not gonna kill you, Militia. I'm not victory relevant. You're victory relevant, though. I wanna look at you on the hill. Get him, Luke. Yeah, keep swinging. <laughs> Do I keep an eye on Kyle's health card as well, just in case? Uh -oh. I'll get over here. Luke is having an incident. He's having one of his episodes. <laughs> Come on, Kyle. Gotta get here. Too bad I already lost the Gallo free. Kyle's limping his way over. We really need to swap his animations for the for the other Jedi one, for the base game Jedi ones. That animation set is one that was made like in 2006 for the first edits of Kyle to have a lightsaber. Because he was in the base game as like a, a hero with a gun. I don't know if Luke lived yet. Kyle needs to clear out the rest of the planet. Oh, they do have a structure left. That is true. Hopefully no one interferes with Luke while this is happening. Holding on to the orbital bombardment so that uh, if anyone comes for Luke. There we go. That was that was close. We killed the pallets. Alright. Building under construction. That I think is a good place to leave it for the day so i hope you have all enjoyed the stream hope you've all enjoyed the episode and hope you're looking forward to what's probably gonna be finishing out the core next time next week uh then we'll go into the csa greater maldrude and a star alignment empire all of those in some order we're getting close to the end of this one i think though but once again, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed all of the things and hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.